Okay guys, what is up? Welcome back to Loud and Proud. I do not have much time to talk because somebody's coming back here with the truck that I'm looking at right now. So I uh, don't have much time, but uh, the guy's gonna be pulling back. It's a blue 94 Dodge 12 valve. Just gonna fill you in. I'm just gonna take a quick look at it, make sure it's what I want, if it's what I want. Maybe take it for a drive, check around it, make sure, check the frame good, all that stuff. If it is what I want, might be buying a new truck. I hear it pulling down the road right now. So I got the cash in hand. Hopefully it's what I'm looking for. No, guys, uh, my hopes are so high too, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. My hopes are so high with this truck. I came out with cash in my pocket just outside. I was ready to buy right then and there. But man, I just, ah. The first thing I looked for, because this was one of the reasons I sold my truck. Well, not only because I really wanted a manual and I just didn't want to do the swap on that truck because of, you know, the history with the frame and stuff that I had to repair and all that stuff. And I just didn't want to be, you know, throwing a bunch of horsepower and building like my, my dream truck and still have something like that, that technically in the back of my mind was just there, even though I had it repaired. If you're not going to like beat the tar to that thing and like way overload it for towing or, you know, something like that, it's a great truck. But for what I wanted to do with it, which is what I wanted to do with this truck, was all that stuff that I didn't end up doing with my truck. Um, super good guy there. His family owns a shop right around the corner and they do good work. They fix pretty much all of our trucks. If we ever have issues, they fix it and never had never had issues with their with their service over there. But he came over with the truck, just got down, wasn't acting shady, just handed me the papers, what's been done to it, let me look around it, you know, didn't like try to sidetrack me or anything. But I just looked around. First thing I did was look to the frame and the areas where my truck was weak and I looked under there. I got down the whole side of the truck on the one side didn't find a single flaw with the frame. Everything was perfect. Um, looked like there was one like real small spot where it was patched. But other than that, everything was fine. And I was like, okay. So I got down to that side of the frame, and I and I right right as I got done looking at the passenger side, I was like, man, this frame looks pretty clean, you know. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, I mean, I haven't been around it, you know, I haven't been under it too much, you know. But I mean, you know, just keep looking around, kind of thing. And uh, so I yeah, I kept going around the other side, and then that's when I saw it right in front of the fuel tank. There was a um, hole there, pretty much all along the bottom which is where most of your strength is in those frames, was just all rusted out for about probably a 12 inch wide section. And I just got up and I just basically told him, I'm like, man, I, I feel I feel bad saying it because, you know, I was like so confident in wanting to buy this thing, but I'm like, I just can't buy it with the frame thing because I'm like, I don't wanna be the guy who sold my truck because I didn't feel good about adding a ton of horsepower to a truck with a, you know, with history of the frame needing repaired and then go and buy another truck that needs a bunch of frame repair, you know what I mean? So it would just be, it would just be a little bit dumb on my end to do that. I don't want to be the one who has to, you know, go through the whole mess of repairing the frame again, and and I that's what I would have to do too. I would I could not in the back of my mind have that truck and then be able to resell it and not go through the hassle of completely repairing the thing at a shop. I just told him I'm like, man, I hate saying it, but I I just can't I can't buy the truck, you know, just just because of that one thing. If any if there were any no other reasons other than obviously if the engine wasn't running properly, I just couldn't buy it because of the frame. He's like, yeah, totally understand, you know. It is what it is, you know. But other than that, the body had no rust on it. I didn't get a look at the interior. I didn't even, I didn't even look. Once I saw that frame thing, I just kind of stood up and said, I'm just, I'm not even gonna pull the money out. I just, like I said, I don't want to be the guy who sold one, sold my drug for one thing, and then I buy another truck with, you know, with the same, same type of problem. But it's just common, which sucks. Dodge, why couldn't you have built like a sturdy frame, like a solid frame on those trucks? Because everybody wants them, but people don't want to have to put up with the frame crap. I and mean, even our nasty red, something I never showed you guys because we just found it. This truck was like the iconic truck for like, I guess you could say like, not the iconic, I guess, maybe, maybe that's the wrong word for it. Um, like the role model or gosh i don't even know what the what the wording is i don't want to sound completely stupid which i probably already do for using those two words but um this frame we thought was like the perfect frame we're like okay it's got some door rust it's got some rocker rust we can handle that the frame is freaking mint dude like just look at the thing super clean no problems no holes anywhere i'm like this is immaculate frame body we can deal with that but the frame and the you know whole drivetrain all that stuff is where it's at you know with reliability on these trucks and that's what you want well, this isn't like a super important part of it, but you know, everything that's supposed to be there, you'd rather be there, but look right there. That's a big old hole waiting to poke through any day. You guys can get that focused in on there, right there. Um, that's, that's no good. The other side isn't really like that, but you know, it's still, it's still, uh, kind of weak it looks like but the whole rest of the frame is good except for this one other spot which is 
right under there, and I found that. If it'll focus. Um, right. Come on. Right. There. On the inside wall of that tubular section of frame there, there's like an eight inch wide section that's got a couple small holes through it. Those holes were not like that when we looked at the truck. They're actually like real small little pinholes. And so I didn't think anything of it. And then basically I took and I started sanding away that undercoating that was on there and some other stuff. And I sanded that away. And then I got to a point where I kind of felt it like snag on the brush and chip a little piece of metal. And I was like, oh crap, you know, like I don't want the whole thing concaving in. I took a wire brush on a wheel, on a grinding wheel, and I just sanded away that section. And then I found out that the whole section right there was just weak and just crumbled in. So I was like, crap. And now that, don't get me wrong, that's a rust hole. But that's repairable because it's on the up on the inside of the on the tubular face of it, not down on the bottom where it's structurally going to be an issue. You know what I mean? When you're adding high horsepower, all underneath is totally solid. There's no, there's not even like surface rust on it. There's not even like orange, you know rust on there it just sucks because i thought that was the one i thought this is the truck right around the corner this is the one you know what i mean you know it's just kind of how it goes and i told him i'm like yeah i mean don't i said by no means think that this your truck is the only one with frame rust obviously i'm like my truck had the same thing i'm not that not in that location but in a different location mine had a big hole too so i'm like it just it's just kind of how it is with these trucks and you know the guy that first guy that ever came and looked at my truck and he looked at it and he's like man he's like He's like, I just don't know about that frame repair stuff. And he's like, but he's like, I kind of, you know, I kind of expect that because, you know, like that's just the history of these trucks. Like he's like, I know a couple buddies, they have, they had huge holes in their frame. They had to have them repaired. And he's like, it just bothers me. But he's like, I guess it is what it is. Um, but he was still cool with it. He still, he went, tried to get a loan for the truck and everything, but it didn't work out. And then the people that bought my truck off me, they knew about the frame repair. They watched all the videos and all that was explained to them through a video um, personalized to them. And they knew about all, they knew about all that stuff and they were totally, totally cool with it. So anyways, that's just kind of where I'm at with the whole truck thing. It just sucks, you know what I mean? Nothing you can really do about it. Just, it is what it is. I just got to pick another truck, go with it, go look at it and hope we can figure something out, you know what I mean? Um, there's one other truck that I was looking at and I didn't go look at it right away because I haven't even checked to see this morning if it's still available. It was available as of yesterday, but it was a red extended cab long bed 96, I believe, dually 12 valve. And that truck looked pretty clean for the most part. All he said was, and I don't think the mileage was crazy. It was like maybe 270,000, 270,000. I and mean, since I don't put a lot of miles in my truck, it's not a huge deal. He said truck runs perfect, drives decent. He said the only, only problem is transmission sometimes doesn't want to shift into gear or doesn't want to shift at between like third and fourth or I don't know. It was something funny like that to where he's like the transmission just kind of shifts kind of funny sometimes. I think it was his wording, but he's like, other than that, been a great work truck you know drive it daily yada yada all that all that stuff but he was only asking six thousand so i'm going to see maybe i don't know i'm gonna let you guys comment down below before i go contacting anybody um but uh, i might i might read into that one a little bit more and do my research a little bit more first things i ask about these trucks now ex except i didn't actually ask this i didn't ask this kid over here um which i should have i had never asked about the frame but with all the other trucks that I have looked at recently, the first thing I ask is, what's the condition of the frame in? Are there holes, cracks, repairs on it, and that type of deal? Um, just so I know what to expect. If they're like, yeah, there's a small crack, got it, understand. So when I go down and look at it, I know it's there. This kid, cause no, nothing against this guy. I never even asked it, you know what I mean? He never really gave me a whole long list. He's like, yeah, I'll just bring it by, and, you know, kind of talk to you then and show around. And cause he lives right on the corner. So it's not like we had to plan something out, you know, big long-term and traveling crap like that. He just right on the corner. He's like, yeah, I'll just drop it by and show you all around. So that's where we're at right now. Might contact this one guy about this dually. If I do a dually, guys, I kind of mentioned yesterday about a dually. And by the way, in yesterday's video, I, there was a little clip in there where I was talking about the dually. I'm like, picture this, this guy's got a dually fourth gen big diesel truck with tow mirrors out and an empty trailer i'm like ha 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 i'm like that would totally be me if i had a dually i wouldn't be able to justify it. some people got kind of triggered by like oh why are you making fun of the guy with the dually and the tow mirrors out and no load on the trailer that's what you would be doing i'm like i seriously just just said that would be me if i owned a dually i'm gonna try to look around a lot more guys it's just tough finding a truck without frame holes and those dodges man it's just one thing i know is that most the obs's and 7.3s in general that i've looked at i've never seen holes in the frame even our 7.3 right here it's got a rusty rusty frame but no holes in the frame anywhere it's still a solid frame you can knock on it with a hammer and you are not going to pop a hole through anywhere on that truck but let's just say this that 
wasn't the truck and it kind of sucked. As much as I would have loved for it to have been the one and my search would have been over with a truck that was seriously right around the corner, it didn't work out. You just never know. It's hard to find a clean one without frame damage. Try to look around more, see what, see what I can find and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can find the truck that I'm trying to look for. That is gonna put a wrap on the video. It wasn't really a super productive video, but I just wanted to kind of let you know, because I already told you in yesterday's video, tomorrow you'll kind of see, you don't you don't want to miss tomorrow's video because I'll kind of have some more info on the new truck. That's the bad news on the new truck. Um, that's not the new truck. I'm back on the hunt. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, definitely smash that like button. Leave your comments below. If you have not yet joined the family, we are growing every single day, and I'd love to have you guys in on that journey. Big things are coming. Just need to get my next truck so I can get stuff done. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day. But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight and go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright, live a normal life, do a nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.